Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Layer Muxer node for the second day in a row. So I had an awesome uh, subscriber give me a good comment yesterday that made me realize I really confused people on the Layer Muxer node yesterday. So I did post it and like 100 people viewed and the comments I got from it made me feel that I confused somebody. So I went back and watched it. And yes, I definitely confuse some people because I started out the video talking about us getting to the tail end of our fusion nodes and our DaVinci Resolve OFX nodes and how we're going to be getting into some antiquated stuff that you would use back in pre 19 and pre 20, because some people still use those versions because they have projects saved in uh, DaVinci Resolve 18 or 17. And some of the stuff doesn't transcribe correctly. And these layers are one of the things I'm talking about doesn't transcribe. Because if you remember right, and these are PSD files that we brought in. So this one has two layers on it. It's got a background one, background two. And of course, PSD files always have a merged and a main. In image two is uh, the same thing. If we look at our layers, we've got text layer one, two, three, and four. Then we've got this black background and then our merged and our main because these are PSD files. But in the old days when we had to bring in uh, PSD files, we would have to go up to Fusion, Import, and bring in our PSD file. And if we wanted it to have all our layers, it would bring in media files and independent layers for every single layer within that PSD file and automatically add the merges to it. So that's why I was talking about the old ways of doing stuff. And uh, if we opened some of those old files within here, we could use this layer muxer node to fix some of that stuff because the layer muxer node is a new node it's not an antiquated node but you could use old files and redo it with all this layer muxer and layer rejects and remover and all this stuff we're going to be going over the next few days so i want to give a big shout out to our subscribers in our community who uh, had my back on this one to let me know i was kind of uh, confusing people so i just pulled the video and i'm redoing it today so i don't confuse anybody so the layer muxer node, let's go ahead and add a layer muxer node. So shift space, layer muxer. And what the layer muxer node does is it allows us to combine layers from one source to be combined with another source. And on this node itself, we don't have a background or a foreground image, but we do have image one and image two. So What's going to happen is anything we bring into image one, it's going to process all of our layers. So all of our layers will show up through image one. So if I take our little backgrounds here and, and put it into our layer muxer and look at our layer muxer, if I right click and I go to our layers, you can see we got background one, background two, merge domain. If I want to take all my text layers and combine them with these layers, we're not going to get a visual of this com combination like it was a merge node, but we are bringing all of our layers from our nodes into one so we can process all these layers down the line. So I can take this one, put it into image two. And now if I look at image two and I right click and we go to our layers, we can now see layer one, layer two, layer three, layer four of our text, our background from our text little uh, node there. And then our background two and background one from our media one. And then we have these merged in the mains. And uh, these merged in the mains are from this original image. And it's overwriting the merged in the mains here. So now what the layer muxer node is letting us do is combine all these layers with these layers. Not visually, but just so they're there so we can process them later down the line. So if I go up to this layer right here, we're processing all layers. So we see them all. If I go to default layers, and if I right click over here and go to my layers, now you see I'm only seeing background one, background two, merged and main. It's only bringing our default layers from this node and nothing from this node. And if I go to custom, now I can select which layers I wanna bring in. So if I don't want my background layer from my text layer, I cannot select it, but I can select my text layers and I'll leave my merge domain and the default layers out as well. So now if we go to our layer muxer node and I look at our layers, now we've got just text layer four, three, two, one, our background one and two. And then we've got our merged in our main from this node right here, not this node. 
And once I make a change and I'm no longer bringing in all images, you see we get this little icon here letting us know we are missing some uh, layers from this image. Because if I go back and I just say all layers, you can see that little icon disappeared. Or I can say custom layers again, and we get that little icon. And under here we have conflicts. So if we have multiple conflicts in say a conflict would be if I was bringing this main in because we have a main here as well. But if I said I wanted to bring my main from image two instead, I can select two. So now if I go here and I look at my layers, my main is going to be coming from this one, not this one. So that's what the conflicts does. So if you have anything named the same in mainly on PSD files, your merged and your main, this lets you settle which conflicts, whether you want to use your layers from image one or your layers from image two. So again, a lot of people get confused with this layer because we see nothing happening. But if I was to take a, say a color node and go down here and let's go to our little color node up here. And if I go to my uh, settings and let's process all layers. And if I want to say my input layer is uh, background two. Now you can see we got background two. But I'll put this back to background one so it doesn't confuse people. But my point is, is right here, these are the only layers that are being processed through. Because we used our layer muxer node to say we only want these layers process down the line. Same with if I said, okay, I don't want text layer one, two, or three, only text layer four. If I go back to our little uh, color corrector, one, you see it's letting us know there's an issue with our little nodes here. All layers. And if I select, you can see we're only getting text layer four here because we're not pushing through with our layer muxer down the line. So that is the layer muxer node. It lets you uh, choose what layers from multi-layer uh, files like PSDs or multi-layer EXRs you want to push down the line. So I will see you in the next node breakdown and hopefully not confuse you as much.